Quran Gem 6, an example for all. In Arabic, you can tell the gender of a word by looking at its ending letters or its ending vowel. Understanding this simple concept can teach us subtle lessons from the Quran. For example, in Surah Al-Tahreem, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ends the surah speaking about female examples for us to look to. He says, وَمَرْيَمَ بْنَتَ عِمْرَانَ الَّتِي أَحْصَنَتْ فَرْجَهَا فَنَفَخْنَا فِيهِ مِنْ رُوحِنَا فَنَفَخْنَا فِيهِ مِنْ رُوحِنَا وَصَدَّقَتْ بِكَلِمَاتِ رَبِّهَا وَكُتُبِهِ وَكَانَتْ مِنَ الْقَانِتِينَ and Allah has also excited the example of Mary, daughter of Imran, who guarded her chastity. So we breathe into her our spirit, and she testified to the truth of the words of her master and his books, and she was one of the devoutly obedient. Let's focus on just the last word, Imqanitina. This is a plural word. In Arabic, masculine plural words can end in una in ina, and feminine plural words can end in aton atin. Looking at the example again, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said that Mary was one of the Qani Tina, which has a male ending. We would have expected Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to say in Qani Tat. In this way, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling us that our example is for both male and females, not just females.